Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Unit Lost. I'm Stylosa, and this is worth a punt. And we're going to find out if Traversa is indeed worth a punt, which of course means is it worth actually picking up and buying and playing. Now, this is, it's from Adult Swim Games, this is. It's a, I believe, it's a stealth kind of puzzler? I That's as much as I know. I mean, I can read you this from the Steam store page, because this is, of course, not out yet, but it will be out in a few days. The sun is dead. Mankind is fled on the ground. In, a two -sided in the two-sided city of Brimstone, the all-seeing Raven Corporation controls our most precious resource, breathable air. It now falls to a guard in training, Valerie, to infiltrate the company, reveal its secrets, and uncover years of lies and propaganda. Okay. Now, let's do it. I mean, I can quickly show you the options. In fact, I'm just going to turn the audio down because it's so loud it's going to kill me. Uh, there isn't much in the way of options. Uh, because, yeah, apply, return, okay. Um, yeah, so you can change resolution, full screen, vertical sync, which I always have off for recording purposes. Shadow quality, blah, blah, blah. We can go to advanced, then we get that, and I've turned off motion blur, because I hate motion blur. That's about it. So, let's get stuck into the game. Oh, yeah. Oh, and of course, this is the first time playing it as well. So if I'm absolutely terrible, then that is why. Because that is what Worth a Punt is all about. I turn up, I play a game, and we find out. And I, and, and are we? And we and I, what? We, we find out, ladies and gentlemen, if it's worth your cash. I guess that's Valerie. Is it a boy or a girl? Why question what you can't see? Mankind took for granted the air it breathed. And we paid a price. Before the corporation, the sun provided us with light, warmth, and air. We were promised these forever, but we were deceived. When the sun died, so too did mankind. Vegetation withered, and the oxygen disappeared. Our drifting planet was sealed in ice. But not all perished. The bold survived. Prepared. Deep underground. Okay, so we're in a city deep underground because the sun has turned off. Okay, press F to interact. Ho! Oh! Whoa, what is this? Raven Corp? Okay. Haha! <laughs> oh my god, I'm a badass at this! Oh yeah. No! Yes! Oh god! Playing stupid mini games. What? What were you? No! 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 Anyway, I got an achievement for that, but I don't think you guys can see it. But you're great. No, I don't want to play again. <laughs> mini games for the win. Oh. Okay. Well, I think I look like a lass, don't I? I think I'm a girl. Okay, Valerie. It would make sense. But I guess I could be a man's name, maybe. Just me, I may favor. Ooh. In loving memory. Hmm. Hang on, what did that say? There is no place like home. Okay. It's just me, old man. <coughs> Good morning, Val. Sleep well? Or were you too excited for your traverser exam? I'm still feeling rather under the weather today, I'm afraid. We have to exchange our oxygen tank today, but I don't think I have the strength. Your old man's not as young as he used to be. <laughs> <coughs> I hate to ask this on your big day, but could you go and fetch a new one? I believe we still have a voucher left on the kitchen table. Okay, he wants me to get some oxygen. Oh, the fridge. Uh, kitchen table. Here we go. Thank you so much, sweetheart. I don't know what I'd do without you. Don't stroll around town for too long. You still have to prepare for the Traverser exam. And don't forget your journal. You always seem to forget things without it. It's probably upstairs on the table. Backer. 
But it's that green book, isn't it? I did try to pick it up, man. <laughs> hey, press J to open your journal. This voucher is good for one oxygen tank from Phil Air, the local air merchant. He's usually on Maple Wen Street with his air wagon across from the fancy fedora. <laughs> I wonder if he remembers me. Oh, oh we got stats, okay. Okay. Hmm. I, well, I do like the fact that the he's voiced. I hope everyone is voiced because I I prefer that than reading. It's more immersive. Can I have a go on the telly? No. All right then, let's Larry, leave. When you the Excuse TV, me. Don't forget to switch it back to Raven News when you're done. Otherwise, the backplay function won't work. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Q for your current mission. Talk to Phil Air. Okay. I wonder if I can just randomly go into people's houses. No. <laughs> Hello there. I'm your next door neighbor. Stay safe, Raven Corp. I wonder if I can just. Ooh. Well, if it isn't young Valerie Bennett, fabled daughter of one of Raven Corporation's brightest employees. How are you? You look rested. That's good. <clears throat> Big day today, eh? I'll have the privilege of supervising you during your traverser exam later. I have some things to attend to, but I'm looking forward to seeing you in action. Don't be late. Yes, don't be late. Uh. Can't have that. Ah, I wish you the best of luck. Good day. The hell? What, why would the CEO just be walking around the street anyway? <laughs> the new face of Raven Corp. Yes, yes. Well, we just spoke to this guy, didn't we? <laughs> Who's this? A, like a bar wench? <laughs> oh, God. Well, the hell? Please, leave this area immediately. You're trespassing. Go back from where you came. Okay. Yeah, well, Maple Wen Street is where we need to go. Well, let's go to Maple Wen Street, because I think this is where the air merchant is. Fill air. Hey, Phil, fill me with air. This must be him. Hello, Phil. Hello, Valerie. Here to check on your tank, eh? I believe it arrived this morning. Let me take a look. Um, ah, yes, here it is. One oxygen tank for the Bennett household. I'll keep an eye on it. You go let your father know it's arrived and waiting for him. Oh, but Valerie, you know the law. No one under 18 is allowed to handle this much oxygen. There's not a lot of this stuff to go around. You can never be too careful. Fine, take it. I know Linus has been ill, so I'll make an exception just for you. But hurry along. Don't get caught with this or we'll both be in trouble. And please, tell your father we should meet for a cup of tea in cold times. It's been fun. It's the Monopoly man. Okay. Well. Yeah, this should have father back on his feet in no time. Hopefully the fresh air will help him shake that nasty cough. Better hurry home before he gets any worse. Okay. Please report any rebel activity. Pro rebel activity. Am I going to get, like, apprehended by somebody because I'm running around with a oxygen tank? No. Yes. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, Daddy, I fixed it. Yeah. Val, you're back. Oh, the fresh air feels just lovely. Thank you, sweetheart. I'm starting to feel better already. Now, you'd better hurry to Raven Corporation headquarters. Your traverser exam is starting soon. Good luck today, sweetheart. And remember, whatever happens today, wherever this test takes you, I'm so, so proud of you. I know you're meant to do wonderful things, and I couldn't have been given a better daughter. <coughs> now, hurry along. I'll miss you. Ah, oh, thanks, Dad. Right. So, yeah, whatever. Dad's, Dad's happy with me. He wants me to go and take the, the, the exam. Well, we can do it because we know where the bloody exam is because it's up here and it says Raven Corp headquarters and that's where we need to go for our traverser exam. I still don't know what a traverser is. Is it some sort of, like, are these traversers, these guys? They look like uh, plague doctors. Okay, Raven HQ. Uh, I know it's not down here, but I what do you want? just wanted to have a look. <laughs> oh. oh, they must be Raven guards, okay? Not traversers. Ah, 
that's a little robot. <laughs> it's like Metal Gear Solid all over again. <laughs> uh, is this even the right place? <laughs> what? Be a role model citizen. Listen and act responsibly. Responsible behavior will always be rewarded. Do not look for trouble, and trouble will not come for you. Have courage and be proud. Oh God, no, but don't press escape. Uh, maybe I've... Hello. Don't get too close. I don't want your poor people germs. You what, mate? Please, have some decency. Brimstone Chronicle. Despite several breaches in security regulations and numerous work-related accidents, FOSS Industries will now resume production as usual. The light shone upon my face as I ascended. Uh, my chest felt heavier. Then suddenly, what the? I fell. I was trying to read the paper. Many lower city workers have expressed anger and disappointment no, over any chance. Alright, fuck you then. <laughs> I'm getting like a, a Final Fantasy 7 vibe here. I'm living in the uh, whatever the thing was, like the Undercity thing. I don't know, it's been years since I've played it. And guess what? It's the only Final Fantasy game I've ever played. Uh, anyway, we, we are oh. watching you. Why? Because we care. <laughs> we are all the same. We are all cogs in the machine that is life. And to ensure that all cogs are functional, we are watching you. Wow. <laughs> I think the oxygen tank man's going to be up here because the fat guy was walking past. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh... Okay. Fat boy. Sent to work in the mines for the rest of your life if you don't move. I mean, fat controller, Monopoly man, we don't know. He's one of those. Maybe this is it? No. Do I have a map? No. Well, it must be this way. Lower to upper city travel. Guess this is it. It'll be the Service big grand service. building, won't it? Whatever, I ain't gonna fail. I'm a champion. Right, yes, boss. <laughs> yeah. Hello. It's your turn to go through the test chamber. Ah. Proceed through the main hall, then turn right and press the large, rather obvious button once you're ready to begin. Oh. We, the founders of Brimstone, hereby seal the surface shaft. We shall not let the cold, barren world above destroy the last bastion of humanity. Opening this shaft will lead to both the surface and to total extinction of, ma extinction of mankind. All we have worked for will be in vain. With this de de declaration, <laughs> we swear to do whatever we must to stop anyone or anything from breaking the seal and dooming us all. Signed by the... I don't think it really is a freeze, is that? <laughs> I think we've been conned. But anyway... Off we go. Did he say take a right? They look like spikes. What the? Oh, okay. Ah, at last, Valerie Bennett, our final candidate for today. How wonderful. I've been absolutely bored to tears watching failure after failure waste my time. First things first, this is just standard protocol. Understand. <clears throat> By the laws of Brimstone, I am obligated to inform you that as a traverser, you'll be assigned difficult and challenging tasks that some people may not understand or appreciate. You'll most likely visit places that are rather unpleasant. Raven Corporation started the traverser program to train a new breed of peacekeeper with a power and authority to flip between upper and lower city with ease. This better enables them to enhance the safety of Brimstone's many inhabitants. Your work as a traverser will include such tasks as patrolling both upper city and lower city to ensure the safety of its people, discouraging and reporting any and all suspicious activity, blah, blah, blah. You know all of this already. Let's skip the rest, shall we? Please, make yourself at home. Refreshments are on the table. Ah, cheers. Do you see that television over there? 
At least I think it's over there. Can't quite tell, my screen is a bit fuzzy. Anyway, we've recorded a few videos that you must watch before we can let you advance. It's for your own safety. Watch our charming crime fighter, Traverser Freddy, and follow his examples. Good luck in the test chamber. It, I it... shan't interfere too much. Is this Half-Life? Uh, ah, here we go. Ah. Welcome ah. to the Traverser testing program. To your right, you'll see the latest version of the all-new gravity manipulator tool. Commonly referred to as a gravity I think it glove, is half life. <laughs> which strives to enhance the security and efficiency of Raven Corporation's most dedicated employees. With the gravity glove, you'll be able to move objects with the greatest of ease. Take the gravity glove from the podium and use it to climb the platform to your right. Okay, grab objects by holding the left mouse button. Use the scroll wheel to. Oh, okay. Oh, and you can spin it with right. Oh, these controls are quite quite good actually. I was going to say, can I jump? That would be a bit pretty embarrassing. I couldn't. Come on, lass. You're joking me, Valerie. Oh, whatever. Oh, God. You can get some... Jesus Christ. You can get some right force. What the... Boom. <laughs> okay, we use a smaller one, eh, Valerie? Good girl. In this next room, you'll need to be as quiet as possible. Try to sneak past the sleeping guard. Be careful not to let the camera see you. They'll set off the alarms. Okay. Yes, I already worked out it was hold shift because I tried to sprint earlier on and I kind of I didn't. Well, he's got an easy job, isn't he? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. one of our new peacekeeper bots also known as pk bots try to <laughs> keep a good distance they will explode if you get too close enter the room and push the button in the center to release the pk bot and begin the test isn't pk like a brand of peanuts emergency warning emergency warning unknown error system overload now rebooting. System failure. System failure. System failure. Peacekeeper bot dispenser malfunction. Now purging PK bot inventory. What if I can like slam them like this? Doosh, doosh. Very. Every PK bot is activating at once. The system has sealed off the doors. We can't get in. You'll have to try to fight them off alone. But the only weapon in there is boxes. Oh heavens! You poor girl. I'm so sorry. What? Oh, yeah, just chuck it into them. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Oh. Seems like, yeah, th there's like quite a long range on this, but when you're out of range, um, it does tease them towards you, sort of thing. Oh, can I just. Oh, yeah, this is better. Whack the shit out of him. Yeah. That's well, quite good. My goodness. That was rather unforeseen. So very glad that you made it out in one piece. Yes. Let's continue, shall we? Now that you've mastered the basics, it's time for your final test. Here you'll learn how to use a flip station. This is to simulate traversal between the two sides of brimstone, upper and lower. No doubt you've seen a flip station before, yes? It's one of your dear father's uh, no. many inventions. Mm. Your mission is to sneak past the guard and get to the other side without being noticed. One problem. There are lasers blocking your way. Go ahead, girl. Use the flip station to the right and discover the next piece of this puzzle. So hang on, if my, if my dad was... Oh god. If my dad was some sort of like... 
mega inventor. Why did that kid call me a poor child? Hmm. Oh, what? Okay. In the room next to you, you'll find special boxes that can block the lasers. They'll burn through you in a matter of milliseconds, so do be careful. You're doing so well, it would be such a shame if you suffered an accident. Okay, so what? These boxes can block lasers? Okay. They just like the normal boxes. I mean, what about this box? Can this block the laser as well? Oh. I guess it can. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, the controls do really feel quite good as well. Ah, there it is. Behold Raven Corporation's brand new top of the line cloaking device, the barrel. The barrel? With the barrel, you'll be protected against lasers and can sneak past guards with ease. Go ahead, girl. Try it on. <laughs> What, he just wants you to walk through the lasers? The barrel. Yeah. Well, I guess I need to flip back, don't I? Yeah. I think the, I think the reason why the controls are good is because it's keyboard and mouse. And I'm not... Like, I thought this was going to be like, oh, you need to use controller. But it really isn't. It, it works... Well, it's keyboard and mouse. And I like that. He, he must be mentally damaged if he didn't see this barrel before. <laughs> so the barrel, like, protects me from everything? Is he gonna... Is he gonna go get me? Oh, God. Oh god. Very impressive. I'm sure you'll accomplish great things for us. <clears throat> well, that's it then. Working hours are around the clock. <laughs> you may keep that gravity glove. It's now assigned to you. Wear your own clothes to keep a low profile while in public. Oh, let's see, I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Heavens. Heavens, would you look at the time? It seems that we finished your exam earlier than scheduled. Uh, that's not good. Uh, maybe you would like to uh, enter the test chamber again? Hmm? Uh, no. Uh, no. Well then, no helping it. Off you go, I suppose. Now take the elevator to exit the testing area. I'm quite sure we'll see each other again soon enough. Now have a good day. Good day. Trevor, sir. I thought he was going to call me Trevor. That'd be funny. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Okay. I passed the exam. I'm a traverser. Oh, I can't wait to tell father. I'd love to... Okay. Well, I'll go and tell father. Yeah, but not that way. This way. So, basically, traverse like, undercover... Undercover Gestapo police agents. <laughs> Just walk away. You don't want to mess with me. What are you talking about, mate? Can't you see? <laughs> He's like, wear your own clothes so you don't, um... <laughs> Fucking hell. So you don't stand out, but I've got like a mental gravity glove. I see you made it through the test chamber. I'm feeling a lot better now. I just have to pick myself up and try again. But that doesn't change the fact that I still don't have a gravity glove. Could you please help me get my notebook? I got angry over oh, this stupid it. test. There you go. And threw it onto the roof over here. Thank you. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Now I'll train twice as hard to make the exam yeah, yeah. just like you, Bella Traverser. Ooh. Yes, I've just become a massive vandal. Traverse this boy. <laughs>
Oh no. Uh, oh, no, I can't get this way. Hey, love. <laughs> Have it. I can't wait to tell me father. Father, I passed me exam. Search your house for clues. Oh, God, there's been a murder. Oh, God. What has happened? Where's dad? I should have a look around, see if I can find some clues. Oh, piss. Well, these are like some sort of energy blast thing impact. Oh, dear. Okay, well, maybe it must be upstairs. Oh, the shiny thing must be the clue. Oh. Dear former Raven Station owner, you used to own a Raven Station. Now you do not. I offer you my deepest condolences in these trying times. Sincerely, a new Raven Station owner. What? Does he mean this? The, the, the telly? What, is it still it? Oh. Uh oh. Dear Linus, I'm sorry I took such offense, uh, such an offensive tone when we spoke earlier. I got worked up. That's all. There's so much going on. I don't know if you've heard, but Raven Corporation is preparing for something big. They came to me with their damned freeze guns and asked a lot. Ooh, so we must get different weapons. Oh, actually, that's what the impacts must be downstairs. Asked a lot of frightening questions about you. I know you just got back to your, uh, from your mission, and I know we had. Uh, our little disagreement, but I need to speak with you immediately. Could you drop by my shop in the town square this afternoon? Hmm. I guess I'm going to the shop. Hmm. Yeah, this looks like Father received a distressing letter from Phil Air not too long ago. Phil must know more about what's going on. Okay. So let's go and find Phil. Okay. Okay, I like this, because it's turned into like a little mystery kind of stealth oh, puzzle. What I the fuck? As soon as I heard your poor house. What's happened? Where is your father? Damn those rebels. Targeting a Raven Corporation employee in his own home like this. Such cowardice. No time to talk. I shall do everything in my power to locate your father and bring him back. We will get to the bottom of this. Sit tight and don't go too far. I'll need to speak with you again soon, but I have urgent business to attend. Don't touch anything. Just stay put. Good girl. <laughs> well, I sort of bounced the tape off your head. Okay. This is insanity. Where could Father have gone? I refuse to just sit here. I'm first now, after all. Don't worry, Father. I'll save you. Yeah, I'm not sitting here. You what, mate? <laughs> So the main town square. City square, here we go. Be careful not to fall from the edge, dear. It's a long way down, and rather unpleasant liquid down there. <laughs> okay, uh, an amazingly difficult puzzle there. Get out of the way. <laughs> uh, oh. I hope I'm going the right way. Get. Oh, hello. Have you seen these thieves? Todd Anderson, Jack Murphy, and Gus Levin. The. The Rick Stein. Rick, Rick, you think that's like Rick Stein? Something to do with Rick Stein. He's a. Uh, a, uh, a a chef from the UK. I think he's got a place in Padstow. Oh, look. Oh! Paint the town. <laughs> oh, we running short on the air. Ah. Ah. I'm sure I wonder it's why weird. everyone is looking at us like that. Are we too intimidating? <laughs> just, just a bit. I, you know, I quite like this. Ah, Phil Air. Let's, let's, have, let's have a word with Phil. Hello, Phil. Phil 
sorry. What are you doing here? Where's your... Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't tell me. They finally came for him, didn't they? Oh, that's bad. This is really, really bad. What are we supposed to do now? Val, listen. I made a promise to Linus that if something were to... to happen to him, I would tell you the truth. Remember a couple of weeks ago, when your father went away on a business trip? That was a lie. No! Linus was called to Raven Corporation to work on their new communication device, some new signal processing technique that they've developed. The Lower City Rebellion has been trying to get their hands on this technology from the moment they learned of it. And now, your father is gone. The Rebellion isn't foolish enough to kidnap Linus. He's one of Raven Corporation's greatest assets. Kidnapping him would bring the full weight of Raven's security forces down on top of them. There's more at play here than might seem. I can't leave Upper City. People are depending on me for their oxygen, but... I have a friend named Jacob Fisher in the Lower City. He's head of Raven Corporation's surveillance team. He'll be able to help you, but he keeps the location a secret, even from me. If you can get his location, an oxygen mask, and some sort of light source, I'll help you get to Lower City to meet with Fisher. Go find Fester, Cage, and Gus, old friends of mine. They live in this part of town, and you can get what you'll need. But you'll probably have to do something for them in return. Ooh, one more thing. Your father mentioned some strange radio waves he caught when he worked on the communication device. He said it sounded like our trace bots, but less robotic. I'm not even sure what it was all about, but it almost certainly related to his disappearance. Good luck, Val. I'll be here waiting for you. <laughs> it, it must be. He's picking up radio signals from the surface, I bet. But it's interesting anyway that the um, the lower city has piss poor oxygen and we, well, we need to get a gas mask and all kinds of mad shit to, uh, oh. His mask shop. Shoppy! <laughs> You know what, I'm going to leave it at this, guys, because I don't want to I don't want to spoil the game. The whole idea of, is it worth a punt, is to see if the game is actually worth playing. And I'm going to straight out say, if you enjoy... I Well, it's a physics-based puzzler, isn't it? With a bit of stealth. And it appears to have, like, slight mystery elements in it. And yeah, it looks interesting. It looks interesting, this does it. It, look, it looks like an interesting world that they've kind of created as well. So, do I think it's worth a punt? I do, but I don't know the price of the game. <laughs> so, there you go. This is Traversa, ladies and gentlemen, and it's available on, I think it's the 9th of July. So, you've got a couple of days to wait just yet. I don't know how much this is going to retail for. I can't imagine it will be that much, but we'll have to wait and see. But there you go. I think this is worth a punt if it's not 30 quid, which I can't see it being that much. I mean, maybe a tenner, 15 quid at max, maybe something like that. We'll have to see. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I've been Silo Sir. This is Unit Lost, and this has been worth a punt. And uh, yeah, I think Traversa is is worth a punt. <laughs> if you like the video, ladies and gentlemen, you can like the video. <laughs> Follow me on Twitter as well, which is at Unit Lost Gaming and all that good stuff. And you know what? I'll catch you next time. Oh, ho, ho, too glue. <laughs> hey, mate. <laughs>